The learning objectives of this section are to familiarise all personnel involved in tank atmosphere control with the use of flammability composition diagram, understand the upper and lower explosive limits, Be fully aware of the company policy regarding tank atmosphere handling. From the previous subjects we saw that for measuring oxygen content we use the Servomex OA262. For measuring hydrocarbon gases by percent of volume the instrument Recon 17HC is used. And an explosimeter, Recon GP204, is used for measuring combustible gas below LEL in air. Finally, the Dreger multi gas detector is used for measuring low concentrations of toxic gas. The effects illustrated on the diagrams in this training module should only be regarded as a guide to the principles involved and not used for deciding on acceptable gas compositions in practical cases. The example flammable diagram is for hydrocarbon gas above crude oil where the UEL is 11% and the LEL is 1.5%. The left side of the diagram, vertical axis, gives the hydrocarbon gas value. The bottom line of the diagram, horizontal axis, represents the oxygen content from 0 to 21%. Note that 21% oxygen represents 100% clean air and, as previously mentioned, 10.8% by volume of oxygen is the minimum oxygen content to be present to ignite a mixture. The upper limit of the range is known as the UEL, Upper Explosive Limit, also known as the UFL, Upper Flammable Limit. This level means the hydrocarbon concentration above which there is insufficient air to support and propagate combustion. The mixture is said to be too rich. The lower limit of this range is known as the LEL lower explosive limit, also known as the LFL, lower flammable limit. This level means the hydrocarbon concentration below which there is insufficient hydrocarbon gas to support and propagate combustion. The mixture is said to be too lean. In this example, a cargo tank has been water washed and is going to be made ready for entering. The following measurements have been taken. Hydrocarbon equal to 14% by volume. 
oxygen equal to 2% by volume. The plot shows the current situation at point A. To avoid the flammable area, a line is drawn up from point B, keeping well clear of the flammable area. In this example, the ship is supplied with a flue gas plant. Check the oxygen content in the supplied inert gas. Under no circumstances must the oxygen content in the supplied inert gas exceed 5% by volume. In this example, the oxygen content of the supplied inert gas is 3% by volume, point C. If we start venting at point A with air, a line will extend from point A straight to point B through the flammable area. Avoid this at all all costs. Additionally, we have to supply more inert gas to decrease the oxygen content before any air venting can commence. As inerting continues, a line will extend from point A to point C. As long as the oxygen content in the supplied inert gas is 3% by volume. Continue to measure the tank atmosphere. After some time, this will result in the chosen line being crossed. In this example, the reading is hydrocarbon equals 2.8% by volume and oxygen equals 2.8% by volume, point D. At point continue to measure At point D the inerting is to be stopped and the air venting starts. All measurements taken from now on will follow a straight line from point D to point B. In this example, the low explosive limit, LEL, is given as 1.5% by volume. It is of extreme importance to continue to measure the hydrocarbon content with the Recon 17HC interferometer at less than 1.5% by volume before the Recon GP204 explosimeter is used. When you measure at point D When you measure below the LEL using the Recon 17HC Replace this indicator with the Recon GP204. Continue to measure hydrocarbon gas and oxygen until the indicators show 0% hydrocarbon by LEL and 21% oxygen. 
Only then is the cargo tank ready for entering. Remember to keep venting with air and take frequent measurements. Also, remember to issue the permits needed.